Hello, my name is Kishwani. That's K E S H W A N I, Kishwani. We are here because we want to improve our math skill. Today we'll solve some problem on the concept of average. Today is our last series, last video in the series of 10 videos. Today is the 10th one out of the 10th. Last one, as I said, in the series on the concept of average. The very first problem is already on the blackboard. Here's how it goes. We are told that we have taken five exams. Our scores on the five exams we are told were 37, 42, 30, 43, and 49. The question is, what do I need to get in the last exam? I'm going to take six exams. What's, what do I need to get in the last exam in order to make sure that I have an average of 40 on these six exams? On these six exams. One more time, these are the scores on the five exams. Question is, I need an average of 40 on six exams. What do I need to score here? Of course, in the real exam, the question that they're going to present to you in the exam, the way it's written in the exam, of course, a little bit more, it's going to be a little bit more verbose. This is simply, what you see on the blackboard is simply the nub of it. Do you understand? These two words we discussed just yesterday. I'm just doing it again for emphasis. Anyway, let's get going. We need the average of 40. The simplest, the quickest way, most efficient way to ask you to, to make sure that we get the average of 40 on however many exams that we're talking about, is to make sure that we make all of them, we force all of them to be 40. But we want 40 here. Now we go back and ask ourselves whether we have deficiency or whether we have surplus on the previous ones. The very first one we scored only 37, we need an average of 40. We need to make up three extra points for this exam. We have a surplus here, we have a surplus of two points. We needed, we needed an average of 40, we have a 42, which means we have a surplus of two. We scored two more than what we needed. Here we have a deficiency of 10. Here we have a surplus of three. And here we have a surplus of 9. Oh, what do you know? Very nice. Okay, so let's see what we can do here. Negative 9. Negative 9 and the positive 1 is going to give us positive 1. Positive 1. Positive 1. Oh, there you go. Positive. We have a positive 3 here, a negative 3. That's gone. A negative 2 and a, and a positive 1 is going to give us negative 1. So we have a negative 1 at the end. So we have to take away 1. It looks like we need 39 points. We need 39 points on the last exam in order to make sure that we have uh, an average of 40 on these six exams. That negative one actually, this negative one that we see here, this negative one represents, the negative part represents a surplus. We have a surplus of one point. We had one, one extra point here than what we needed. In other, for, in other words, Whatever these scores that we see there, if this 48, if this, if this 49 were exactly, if this 49 were 48, then the average on these five exams would have been exactly 40. In which case, we we would have had, we would have had to get 40 on the last one. We would have been fine. But we have a surplus of one, so instead of 40, we need to shoot for 39. Let's do one more, shall we? Let's do one more. We had, we are told that we had an average of 78 points on the first four tests. We are told that we scored 95 on the fifth. We happened to score 95. We did very well in the last exam. We scored a 95. Our average on the previous four exams was only 78. It was only 78. On the fifth one, we happened to score 95. The question is, what's our new average? What's our new average? That's all. What's our new average? Let's find out, shall we? Let's find out. Again, we're not going to do it in a traditional method. Obviously, that's the whole point. So, we had an average of 78 on four tests. As we have always said, the most efficient, the most, um, uh, the, the, the quickest that is, the most efficient, the quickest, the most economical way to make of making sure that you have an average of any number on a given number of tests is to make all of them the same number. Let's make all of them 78. 78, 78, 78, 78. Well, there you go. Now we know that the average of these four tests is 78 because we scored 78 exactly on all four of them. Then it turns out that on the last one we scored 95. We scored 95. Ask yourself how much how much higher is that compared to our previous score of 78? Well, let's find out. 78. 
subtract with 15 minus 8 is going to be 7, 8 minus 7 is going to be 1, is 17 points. We have a surplus of 17 points. Listen very carefully. We have, I'm going to write everything down just to make sure that we, that we are on this, that we understand each other. We have a surplus of 17 points that needs, that needs to be, that needs to be spread, that needs to be spread evenly among the five exams. That 17 point needs to be spread evenly among the five exams and that's how the average is going to be. I'm going to continue this from the top here. So it turns out that our average is in fact our average, our new average is going to be our old average of 78 plus the 17 extra points that we earn which needs to be spread over five exams. 17 divided by 5 is 78 plus 15 divided by 5 plus 2 divided by 5. I'm making it too much fuss now. I sh and again, I should not have taken up this much room here. 70, 78 plus 17 divided by 5 is simply 78 plus 3 plus 3 plus 2 fifths. That's it, we're done. So 78 plus 3 is 81, looks like 81.4. 2 fifths is our 0.4. Our average score, our new average is 81.4. Let's do one more, shall we? Let's do one more. We scored, we are told, we scored 67, 62, 69, 59, 52 on the first five exams on the first five exam. On the first five exams. We need an overall average of 60 on six tests. Question is what do I need to score? One, two, three, four, five exams. What do I need to get on the sixth exam to get an overall average of 60? Now that we get a hang of this concept, as you can see, it's a damn silly thing to just keep doing over and over again the same, same thing. There is nothing in it. We need an average of 60. So let's first list our scores here. 67, 62, 69, 59, and 52. Here we need an average of 60. Now we go back and ask, uh, whether we have surpluses or whether we have deficiencies and we make the adjustment. Here we have a surplus of 7 points. Here we have a surplus of 7 points. We needed 60, we have 67. Here we have a surplus of 2 points. Here we have a surplus of 9 points. Well there you go, surplus of 9 points or other. Oh yes. No, we have a surplus of 9 points. Not a deficiency. We need Plus would have meant that we have to earn 9 points. Here we also have a surplus. I was about to knock them out but that's not it. You have to pay attention. And here we have a deficiency, so we have to make up extra one point. We have to make up an extra one point to make it 60. And here we have to make up an extra eight points. Now you will see ex exactly what I was about to say. I thought it was a plus nine, and I was going to cross out that plus nine with negative two and negative seven. But of course that's not the case. That would have been the case had we had a deficiency of nine points. Here we have a surplus of nine points. But here, as you can see, we have a plus one. We have to make up a one point here. We have to make up eight point here. We have to make up nine point on these two tests. But we have a surplus of nine points here which means these three cancel each other out. That's it. We have a surplus of nine points. Negative two and a negative seven tells us that we have a surplus of nine points. We need to score 51. We need to score 51. This nine represents, we have a surplus of nine points. Or I should say, I shouldn't do, I should have employed present tense. What I meant to say is that we had a surplus, not we have, we had a surplus of nine points on the previous five exams. And therefore, on the sixth month, we don't need to score 60 in order to have an overall average of 60. We only need to score 51. I'll see you tomorrow, okay? Bye now.